You're watching Lean TV and Lucy Robson with today's main news. The four Paphos MPs representing key political parties are meeting in Nicosia with the Parliamentary Committee for Communications and Works about the uncertain Paphos to Polis Road project and the stalled Bottom of Bay Marina works. They say both projects are essential for the future development of local tourism. Meanwhile, 45 hotels and apartments have been closed since autumn and will remain so until the spring, says the Paphos Chambers of Commerce and Industry, an increase on last year. The right-wing DC party says that more action is needed on integration of immigrant children in Paphos schools. The warning comes following a party survey on 5,000 local pupils, which revealed that 24% children from other countries are struggling academically because of their poor Greek language skills. National news. On Wednesday, police are expecting results of analysis on evidence found at the site of former Cypriot President Tassos Papadopoulos' grave as the investigation into last week's theft of his remains continues. DEFA, the newly created Cypriot liquefied natural gas company, has accepted expressions of interest from 13 companies. In a bid to wean it off heavy fuels, Cyprus is seeking a supplier which can provide LNG for 20 years. DEFA told Lin TV that it hopes to whittle down the bidders to awarding a contract by the end of 2010 as a precursor to having LNG on tap by 2014. Finally, local writer Sheila Hawkins and artist-musician husband Harry have raised €1,000 for the Friends Hospice housed at the Evangelos Mos Hospital in Paphos. The cash was raised through two musical and literary events and a sale of drawings at the hospice yesterday. Well, that's all we have time for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more local news.